Revolutionaries, no matter what school or movement or organization you come from, we must build an African united front. Khalid Abdul Muhammad was an activist, a one time member of the Nation of Islam, and national chairman of the New Black Panther Party. Muhammad was born Harold Moore Jr. on January 12, 1948, to Harold Moore Sr and Lottie B. Moore in Houston, Texas. Moore's aunt, Carrie Moore Van, raised him while living in Houston, where he attended Phyllis Wheatley High School. After graduating from high school in 1966, Moore enrolled in Dillard University, located in New Orleans, Louisiana, to pursue a degree in theological studies, but he didn't finish that degree. While attending Dillard University in 1970, Moore heard a speech by Louis Farrakhan, who was at the time national representative of the Nation of Islam. After hearing Minister Farrakhan's speech, Moore joined the Nation of Islam and changed his name first to Harold X, then to Malik Rushidin. He eventually became Farrakhan's protege, helping to bring new recruits to the Nation of Islam. Muhammad later received his Bachelor of Arts degree from Pepperdine University in Los Angeles, California. In 1978, he was appointed Western Regional Minister of the Nation of Islam and leader of Mosque No. 27 in Los Angeles. In 1983, Farrakhan changed his name to Khalid after the Islamic general Khalid ibn al-Walid. In 1985, at the age of 37, Khalid Muhammad was appointed National Spokesman and Representative of Minister Louis Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam. In this role, he traveled to Nation of Islam Mosque throughout the United States and eventually made a trip to Libya to meet its leader, Muammar al-Gaddafi. He became Minister Farrakhan's national advisor in the Nation of Islam. During his time with the Nation of Islam, Khalid Muhammad gave very dynamic, powerful, and often controversial speeches. The white man is the devil. In case you forgot, you haven't heard anybody say it in a long time. You ain't heard nobody say it in a long time. The white man is the devil. I say it every day. I say it every day like a religious catechism so that I can remember to remember just so I won't forget. I say it like a mantra. I say it when I'm brushing my teeth and gargling my mouth all the while out as a devil. Early in the morning, I say it as a part of my meditation. I open up my prayers. Al-Udu Billahi Mini Shaitan Nirajim. I seek refuge in Allah. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed devil, the white man. Damn it, it was a devil that killed Brother Anthony Baez. God damn it, it was a devil that shot our brother down on the streets of Brooklyn, shot him 24 times. It was devils who killed Brother Yusuf Hawkins. It was devils who were responsible for Eleanor Bumpers. It's devils who killed Jerry Lee Amy and Eula May Love. It was devils who brought you here on the slave ships to the hells of North America. You better remind yourself every day. Despite the controversy, Muhammad remained popular with youth in the black community and often appeared in hip hop songs by Public Enemy and Ice Cube. In 1993, during a speaking engagement at Kane College in New Jersey, Muhammad used language that some European Jews found derogatory and insulting. He also was accused of attacking the Pope in his speech. In response, the United States Senate took the highly unusual step of voting 97 to 0 to censure him for making the speech. He was also silenced by the Nation of Islam as a minister, a move which prompted him eventually to leave the organization. 
1993. During the speech, Brother Khaled made remarks that were not consistent with the proper representation of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, his teachings and guidance, myself, and the Nation of Islam. I found the speech after listening to it in context, vile in manner, repugnant, malicious, mean-spirited, and spoken in mockery of individuals and people, which is against the spirit of Islam. While I stand by the truths that he spoke, I must condemn in the strongest terms the manner in which those truths were represented. I therefore have dismissed Brother Khaled from his post as minister, representative, and national assistant. Muhammad, however, would continue to make dynamic public speeches at universities across America, and once in 1994, appeared on the Phil Donahue Show. On May 29, 1994, former Nation of Islam member James Bess attempted to assassinate Muhammad. He was shot by Bess after making a speech at the University of California, Riverside, but fortunately, he survived the attack. In 1998, Muhammad became the national chairman of the New Black Panther Party, a black nationalist organization that loosely modeled itself on the original Black Panther Party founded in Oakland in 1966. During his time with the New Black Panther Party, Muhammad organized the Million Youth March in New York City and led a march in Jasper, Texas, protesting the vicious murder of James Byrd by white supremacists. Muhammad remained national chairman of the New Black Panther Party until his death from an alleged brain aneurysm on February 17th, 2001. Muhammad eventually died in Atlanta, Georgia at the age of 53. He was buried in Ferncliff Cemetery in Westchester County, New York, near the graves of Malcolm X and Dr. Betty Shabazz. On a personal note, Brother Khalid Muhammad was one of my own personal jagnus. I first met Brother Khalid when I was a president of the Black Student Union at Syracuse University. And after that, we developed a relatively close relationship with me calling Khaled or he calling me. And eventually I became one of his uh, speaking agents. Uh, I would mail his lecture package to different black student unions around the country. And if my, my work helped Brother Khaled get a speech, he would pay me 20% of his speaker's fee or honorarium. One of the last times I saw Brother Khaled, I hadn't seen him in a few years, he asked me, Peace, brother. What organization are you in, or what organization have you started? When I began to tell him that I was a teacher and we started a school, he stopped me mid-sentence. And he said, Brother, you have far too many skills and way too much knowledge just to be teaching. I didn't ask you what you did for a living anyway. I asked you, what organization were you in? That was Brother Khaled's way. Raw, up front, take no prisoners. After that, Brother Khaled urged me and insisted that I join an organization or start one. He invited me to a speech he was delivering at the famous Harriet Tubman School in Harlem, New York. I attended that speech, and that was the last speech I would have heard from him in the last time I saw him because not more than two weeks after that, I received news that Brother Khaled Muhammad had died. Khaled Abdul Muhammad, Black Power General, Pan-African Revolutionary, master of various schools of thought as it relates to consciousness, a brother we sorely miss, and a brother whose spirit we hope to keep alive. Ashe. Whatever your philosophy and ideology is of your organization, stay right with your organization. Just accept black nationalism as your major goal and objective. He said, if you're in the church, stay right in the church and organize in the church. You don't have to leave the church. 
We want to build an African united front. We want revolutionary Christians. We want revolutionary Muslims. We want revolutionary black Hebrews. We want revolutionary Yoruba. We want revolutionary black men and women who believe in the principles of Maya and study ancient Kemet. We want revolutionary atheists. We want revolutionary agnostics. We want revolutionary socialists. We want revolutionaries no matter what school or movement or organization you come from. We must build an African united front. And we must accept revolution. We must accept liberation. We must accept freedom and independence as our primary goals and objectives.